Well, hey folks, it's Tango Esker Mike. Um, it is uh, the following weekend after the ice storm. And we got some rain last night. Uh, you can still see it's a bit icy down here. Uh, but you can see debris all over there. There's more there. I've got a big pile of debris up there. Uh, plus there's like eight or nine pals along the road that I stacked during that time when I was clearing the road. Um, we still have these big packs of snow here. I think the high is supposed to today is supposed to be around 37. I think it's around 35 right now. So it's really not bad. Um, I'm gonna let Augie run a little bit. I'm gonna get the chainsaw and some uh, pruners because uh, the pruners actually work really well for taking the small limbs off the branches and stuff instead of wasting the energy of the chainsaw. Um, but I'm gonna try to clear this up, start a big brush pile and um, go from there. Just try to get some of this done. Um, and then maybe I can go for a hike tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. I've been nursing. Uh, I pulled my hamstring, so I've been nursing my hamstring a little bit. I've still been working out every day, or just about every day. Um, I tried uh, trying to rehabilitate that a little bit. I don't even know how I pulled it, but I did uh, pretty severely. Um, but it's going good. I'm, uh, I was still able to, you know, run this morning on the treadmill, do some lifting and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, now it's time to. Uh, do some more work and hopefully I don't re-injure it, but I gotta get stuff done, you know? So the trailer's still sitting where it's at. You can see how tipped it is. Hopefully you can see. I'm gonna try to balance a camera level using this trekking pool so you can see what, a, what an angle my yard is on. So it actually slopes pretty drastically and that's why when I was trying to pull it with the ATV I kept sliding down that way. Uh, I try to get the trailer today and get out of there, but you can see this is my yard. Um, <laughs> this is uh, a sheet of ice. This branch came down. All that came down. I clean that up over there. That tree branches came down. There's just stuff everywhere. Um, but yeah, the weight of the ice just uh, snapped these uh, these branches off. And all through the woods. There's a ton over there. There's another giant pile that I'm going to try to get today. Um, but uh, like I said, I'll use the pruners to take the smaller limbs off. Uh, we'll stack them on our brush pile there. And then we'll uh, fire up the chainsaw and cut this big stuff down. Okay, things are moving along. We got all this cleared up. I got the batch of trees uh, from down there that broke off there. The big batch of limbs there, uh, up there, up there. There's still some more up there on the way up the hill. Um, over here, I'll tell you what, working on this ice is treacherous. Uh, I've almost fell on my butt a few times. Uh, there's another big limb over here. Uh, the logs are still there. I'll wait till I can get those uh, split and then all stacked up in here. Um, there's some huge limbs over there which I think I'll take the ATV over and try to drag them over here and then cut them up over here so I'm not wasting my time. And uh, I might have to try to get some wood up to the house to refill our wood racks. We were with that power for 66 and a half hours, according to my wife. And uh, it might be nice to get some more wood up to the house. We used a lot of wood during that time because that's what we used to keep the house warm. Uh, but as you can see, that is all ice. And it, we just got a little snow squall just started. Huh, as soon as I started talking. So I think I'm going to go over there and try to get that wood. So let's uh, get the ATV. And, jeez. Uh, a little snow squall. That's pretty cool. I don't mind the weather. Never really did. Rain. I mean, obviously, rain's kind of a pain in the butt. You soak this stuff, though. This is just kind of cool to be out in. I was hoping to do some shooting later, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but, you know, let's get the ATV. Fire this up. It's not too cold. should fire up pretty easily.
Look at all these branches. They all snap off this side of the tree. So yeah. This is our big tree. We love this tree and it's a shame, but it lost a bunch of branches up there. You can see there's a couple of trees down there. Those have been down, but there's just crap everywhere from the storm. So I think I'm gonna hook a chain to this one, um, drag it over and then I'll get that one. And then I'll get that one. It's just easier to drag it over there and do it. Swells up pretty good there. I don't think the chain will slide off, especially if I get it on here tight. Oh, we'll do a quick little lesson. So chains, chains are great for this kind of stuff because they're so durable. This I've had this chain for years. It's outside in the weather and uh, just keeps getting used. Um, you use the small end of the hook. This uh, chain comes with two big ends. The other, the other end's much bigger. Um, you don't do like that. You can bust the links. What you want to do is get this as tight as you can, and then just hook it, and it slides right in that slot, and it will pull. And I actually might try to get a little bit tighter because I don't want it slipping off the tree as I start pulling. But and then I just take the other end, hook it on my. Uh, my uh, homemade ATV trail hitch there. Oh, this one's gonna be a bit heavier. Let's see what we can do. So I think I can get the saw and just break these down real quick. Let's try doing that. Augie's over there digging again. He's so dirty.
I know why some of you are wondering why I'm not, why this is going on the burn pile and I'm not putting all this for firewood in the house. And that's because our fireplace is really small. It only takes small logs. Even these small logs here that I cut up, I'll have to split. Um, so if they're odd shaped and twisted, it's just too much of a pain to try to get them split and in the fireplace. So. And I have so much wood down on my property right now that I'm not hurting for, for good firewood. So this will just go into a big brush fire and uh, I'll have one hell of a bonfire and uh, bourbon uh, night out here burning all this stuff. It'll be awesome. But uh, this a lot of this stuff is still live, so it's got to dry out. So it'll be sitting here for a couple of months. So it'll be, whoop, excuse me, it'll be good for a uh, springtime uh, bonfire. So let's see how bad Augie is. Augie, come! Augie, come! Come here! Come here! Come, come here, bud. Are you all dirty? Come here, are you all dirty? Look at you. Oh, look at the nose. Look at you. Look at that. You're all dirty. Oh, man. We're going in in a minute, okay? A couple more minutes, let me finish up. Thanks everybody. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this. I'm doing ham radio stuff, but uh, uh, I'm going to be on a couple of live shows. Um, but uh, when I have stuff to do around the house, I'm going to do this and I may just shoot video out of it. Um, this channel may end up being more, uh, a little bit more of a vlog kind of thing, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. But thanks for watching. This is Tango Oscar Mike, 73. Take care. Don't eat that. No.